Welcome back, everybody. Um, so, I have tried a couple times to take out this group of robber knights, and it's just not happening. Uh, there's just too many of them at this point for... I'm not, just not strong enough to take them. So we're going to run over here to the veil. Hopefully... Yeah, they turned. Okay, and we're going to wait here for some time because... Our uh, party is very sleep-deprived. Lack of rest is causing a minus 35-point drop in morale. Uh, so we're just going to rest up here. A little bit of rest for our long, long journey. Plus 18 morale is very good. I uh, could probably stay for another day to let that go up, but it should be okay now. Yeah, morale's back up to high. We can hold more prisoners. So, while we still have some money here, uh, we're going to continue on our way. Continue down here. Uh, let's go check this little village. Check this little village to see what they have for sale. More timber. That's way overpriced. Uh, we'll get some peaches and apples. And some grain. Place our foods. And head on our way. What was that over here? Big old deer herd. I guess I could take out some deer. Uh, let's continue on our way though. So, Angboy says, I grew up here in Blackhaven. Did you know that when Sir Barristan Selmy was ten years old, he borrowed armor and entered the tourney? There was a mysterious night that took place here. He was eventually defeated and unmasked by Prince Duncan Targaryen. For that, Sir Barristan earned the nickname Bold. Hard to believe, but that is true. My father was local lord's huntsman. He taught me how to use the bow and how to fletch arrows. Sometimes he took me with him on long hunts, during which we almost reached Ashford on foot. It's a pretty far walk. Ashford's all the way over there. Okay, so continuing down here. Maybe we'll run into a nice, decent sized bandit party down here we can actually fight that's not filled with a bunch of robber knights. Of course, my party's probably too big now to chase them down, but that's okay. Could actually unload a couple troops here. We are paying quite a bit of upkeep. What all do we have in here? Okay, the levy. Ah, bearded bishops have nice little crossbows. Could get rid of the squires. I don't have any shields or anything, just basic armor, leather. We'll just continue. I'm sure we'll lose them at some point. Haven't really done too much exploring down here, so uh, maybe they got some cheap goods or something. Tell you what, we'll trade you that tunic for some goat meat. And that way we're hardly paying anything, okay. And let's continue down here to Vaith, I think I'm saying that right. Okay, so they got sea raiders down here. Need rest for the morale will suffer. We'll probably rest up at this city here. I hope the sword's here. Um, even just like a cheap rendition of it, because I can always upgrade it later. We are looking for a shimitar. <clears throat> okay, you pass... You capture a passing raven and notice tied to it a small piece of parchment wrapped in golden string. The letter reads... I pronounce the King Eddard Stark, Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North, has been beheaded in lieu of treason. As Eddard's heir, Lord Rob Stark has in turn been announced as the true King in the North. Okay, I think we already knew that, but alright. So, let's go on down in here. And check what they got for trade real quick. I guess we could use more bread. 
Not really anything cheap. I could buy. Okay. Hanging on to those hides for. We'll just sell the hides here. Uh, ooh, cool horses. And they do have their own unique style armor. Uh, not all that strong from what I'm seeing here. And there it is, the Shimitar. <clears throat> now as you can see, uh, compared to other stores here, ours is a little bit quicker, but we've like had it upgrade a whole bunch. Its reach isn't all that, and that's what I'm looking for is weapon reach. Um, let's do Shimitar, Shimitar. Probably buy the cheap one. No, we're just going to get the decent one. Because I can upgrade that later. And it'll be even quicker. So the speed will go up on it. It'll be quicker than the one we have. And it's longer by a good bit. And it's doing more damage. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take that. And then I'll hang on to my sword for somebody else. Because it's pretty decent. Or in case I break mine. Uh, they got throwing spears. What else? Not much else I needed. Just really just needed that. So that works. Alright, so we got our new sword. I'm very happy with that. It's quick, it is long, and it's strong. So, very good. I uh, wonder how much it would cost to upgrade it. Let's check the end real quick. And there's another companion here. <laughs> ah, do I want to blow through my money? I don't really have any income right now. Uh, what have you been doing since our last encounter? Use your army. Oh, I'm full on people anyway, yeah. Whoops. Okay. My bad. We'll run into him again later. He's uh, he's actually not that bad. He's a pretty strong companion. So uh, He was actually in Season 1. He was, I think, served as the guard. Like, one of the guard's guys or something like that. He was like the leader of the guard for the king. So here. Oh, and I, yeah, I want to check. Whoops. Stroll through the town. Hopefully it doesn't take me all year to find them. I also actually looked at our horse. Our horse is not injured. It's just not that quick. And once it does take a couple shots of damage, it severely slows down. What are you doing? Horse merchant. Okay. Maybe back around this way. Get out of the way. Guildmaster, there we go. Okay, so they want to know me better. I probably don't have all the money to do that right now. Uh, but I do want to check for upgrading that sword, so. Ah, perfect. Well, that worked out good. Uh, Shimitar 4. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. It'll be fine the way it is right now. It'll be fine. Alright, so we're going to... It's already afternoon. We're going to rest here. Now I'm going to go back up and try to find some of these uh, robber knights, I think, and just kill off some of our people and get in some fights. Hopefully, uh, like, not too big of groups, but some we can actually take out. Alright, so the troops are rested up pretty decently here. We're gonna head out. It's morning time. We got our sword, that's the main thing. Uh, it's gonna. That sword is actually very, very good. It's one of the best swords in the game, I have been told and I have read. So, pleased that we found that. Especially once I get it upgraded a little bit, once we have the money to do that. Speaking of money, what are we down to? Uh, 2,000. Alright, so we got enough to pay the wages at least, but I do need to get some money here quick. that bad. Uh, Alright. There's some raiders. And I can catch them, so we're gonna go fight these guys real quick. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, I think we can take them out, and this would be a good experience for our people, as well as for me. Come on, chase them down. You're getting there. Okay. Surrender or die. Let's 
70 to 38. I don't think they're all that. Didn't really look too close to what they had. I'm not that worried about it. I think our army can definitely take theirs. Nice sandy desert looking place. Very legit. Alright, you guys know the drill. Looks like they are coming to us. Archers in front, infantry right behind, spearmen behind them. And I guess we got a skirmisher. Put you over there. Cavalry go over to that side. Start lighting them up. I'll move out of your way. And they're already popping a couple of them. Very good. And a couple cavalry going around on the flank. Yeah, hey, these guys don't look that tough. guys down there. I don't think I've lost anybody yet. Let's go chase down these horsemen. They're going to be a little bit of a pain, probably. Looks like they do have some reach riders. Of course, so do we. Where are you going? Be running. It's definitely quicker. archery skill is just horrible. Alright, he's been dropped. Better run him down. That's that. Alright. I was actually kind of hoping I would lose a couple people there, but we did not. Oh, five renowned. And yeah, we did lose one reach footman. Okay. Right. We'll take an outrider. Sure. And a brigand. Sure, why not? And capture, capture. Oh, you know, I, if I could sell these prisoners off, that would be a good chunk of change. That's probably what I need to do. Uh, let's go ahead and share the loot. Okay. Spear, shield, sickle. Whatever, sell all that junk. I don't think I want any of it. So, pretty easy fight there. It's nice to win one once in a while. Especially after last episode, how... Oh, last episode sucked. We just completely got destroyed. So, where do I want to go? I'm going to run it over to Ashford, I guess. Closest big, by, big town. Hopefully there is a guy from the Night's Watch in there that I can sell these prisoners to. That would be really, really nice. ahead a little bit and do some trading sell 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 and sell that and sell that hang on to the sword that shield might not be bad if I upgraded it a little bit it has quite a few hit points the resistance isn't that great but I think if I upgraded it, it wouldn't be awful some sausages here. Greens are still good. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Ah, uh, so 300 something. Alright. Really want to get a better horse. See, that one's quicker. I don't. Hmm. Yeah, I just need one of those armored horses, I think, and those are pretty expensive. So, let's go check the inn. And the guy's not here, I don't think. Yeah, he's not here. That would really suck if I have to travel all the way up north just to sell some prisoners. Uh, so we do have our little productive enterprise here. Um, Alright, let's continue. I want to run over to High Garden real quick.
Maybe he'll be in high guard, and that would be awesome. It's in berry bush. Ah, my supplies. Okay, nothing great. <clears throat> now there is a ton of salt over. Let me pause it. Uh, there's a ton of salt in all these little like towns over here. And since I'm not really at war with the Lannisters anymore, I could make a run up here real quick. Um, like, buy a bunch of salt and run it back down to Highgard and Ashford. I might do that real quick. Uh, it's just not that far. And it's a quick buck I can make and then maybe set up another Enterprise in Highgard. Lord Randall Tarley wishes to inform it. The Lords of the Reach will be gathering for a feast at his great hall in Horn Hill. Where is Horn Hill? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Uh, we can actually do that. Let's run over to High Garden real quick. Ooh, 41 bandits. What are you guys doing? Let's take them out real quick. If I can catch them. Should be able to. Yep, there we go. Alright, um, let's take them out. Take them out. Just gotta beat up on some bandits here. I mean, I'm not quite strong enough to deal with the robber knights yet. Ooh, got a bridge. Alright, so let's put our archers down over here. Infantry right in front here. Skirmisher right there. Cavalry, get ready. back around and run back through there again. Oh, hello. Missed him. Oh no, horse! That <laughs> poor horse. Ooh, <laughs> you took an arrow to the side of that. Come back! Where are you going? Don't you be running. Come on, reload, reload, reload. There you go. Got a couple stuck over here. No, they're mine! Stay away! Damn it. I stole my kills. Again. Just some kill stealing bastards. Alright. Uh, four minor wounded, no big deal. Took them all out. Good. Uh, don't want any farmers or peasant women. Can we take the bandit leader? Yes, and the two brigands. This will be worth the most. And very nice. Let's, uh, share the leader. Swords, all that good stuff. And still got room to hold more. Maybe we could grab another fight here real quick. Oh, yes, perfect. They came to us. <clears throat> so. Uh, take these guys out as well. I don't know what they're thinking. They got 28 people. I guess they just felt pretty brave. They're probably going to be coming in uh, because we were burning bodies. They might come in in like an ambush style here. Yep, sure enough. Uh, so I'm going to run over here to one of these horses. Everybody, everybody get down here. Like right in the middle. Pull back. Don't be all spread out. Right, let's hop on this horsey horse. Coming in from two sides here. Alright, everybody charge. Attacked us. No mercy. Is 
there's still two more coming over here. Might be able to catch them. Maybe. Ah, missed him. And I missed him. Shit. Alright, well, looks like they're going to get away. We'll still go chase them, though. Maybe they got a longer run than I think. Ah, he's gone. Oh, well, we got most of them. I think we uh, got the sword play up a little bit as well. Very good. Uh, so we lost one levy. No big deal. Robber knights rescued prisoners. Oh, shit. Okay, who do I want to get rid of? Sorry, camp woman, you're out of here. Uh, we're taking all three of you. Bandit leader again. Is there any cheaper prisoners I can get rid of? Get rid of the looters. And take the brigands. Yep. Okay, so we got some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice prisoners now that are worth quite a bit. And let's bury the dead again. Okay, so that's really going to help out. Uh, we're going to need all that money, and hopefully the prisoner guy is there, and we leveled up. Alright, now I'm feeling a little bit better about our situation here. Leveled up to level 12, only level 12, still pretty, uh, it's not much, but let's see what he's doing here. Okay, uh, do I have any injuries? Shouldn't. Yeah, no injuries, no scars, six lifetime wounds that we've healed. Okay, so those are his base stats, they aren't affected by anything down. I guess I need to get agility up, because he is moving kind of slow. He does tire quickly. I'm going to need that strength up eventually, too. But for right now, uh, let's go with agility. Leadership's already at three. Persuasion I'm going to need eventually for, like, castles and stuff. I can probably hold off on that. Uh, I'm not going to put any more points in that, because we're going to get a medic eventually. Pathfinding would be nice. Um, yeah, eventually going to need Sailing Master as well. Tell you what, for right now we're just gonna go with Iron Flesh, be able to take more of a hit. And yeah, crossbow. A little bit. Whew. Okay, reset that. Uh, I didn't want to put that much uh, one in iron flesh. And let's do one point there. The rest in crossbows. There we go. 69. Alright. Run over tier two, high garden, <clears throat> and let's trade with the locals. Let's get rid of all this junk. Maybe there was some good stuff in there too. Rusty arming sword, arming sword. Uh, so we'll keep the arming sword and sell the rusty one in case we get somebody that needs to use it. Pet spear, pet spear, blah blah blah. Hatchet. No. Okay, that's our old sword. So we're saving all the rest of that. Very good. Oh, let's replace the cabbages and replace the. Damn, is that cheese only 19? Yeah, we can actually buy a second one of that. And yeah, very cheap food prices in this town, I've noticed. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so just under a thousand, that's very good. Now, if the uh, guy that does the prisoners is here, that would be great. That would really be super great. Probably gonna get a little lag spike at the top of these stairs. I don't know why, but it always usually does. There it is. Okay. Oh my god, I think he's here. Sweet. Hello, sir. The troops on the wall are wearing thin. I'm here to try and recruit more. I'll take any prisoners ye have. <clears throat> yeah, you can take our prisoners. All of them. 6,000 silver! <clears throat> very nice. 6,000 silver, gained reputation. Um, very cool. So, yeah. Uh, definitely needed that. Let's talk to this bar wench. Buy some mead. There we go. And 
we now have a good bit of money, 9,000. And let's go find the Guildmaster, shall we? <coughs> Sorry, my voice again today is very raspy. Right, as soon as we load up here. Yeah, I think High Garden's a pretty big town, so, yep. Uh, I gotta remember where this guy is. Might actually not be able to find him at night time, but I do see someone standing over there. I think that actually might be him. I hope. Weaponsmith, okay. Well, actually, you know what? Uh, refine the Shimitar. I do have the money for it. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Okay, so the sword's a little bit better. Let's check our inventory here. Yeah, so it's actually now quicker than the other sword we had. Doing more damage at 35 compared to 30. And it's longer, so that's going to be very nice. I think that was worth a little bit of money we spent. Now, where is this Guildmaster? Levy, prison guy. I'll tell you what, we're gonna try it again. Every time you spawn into the town, they start you in different spots, and maybe I'll get lucky, they'll start us right next to them. As soon as it loads. Nope, they started us in the same spot. Okay, make a liar out of me. Who is that over there? Maybe he was there all along. Looks like it's going to be the horse guy, though. Oh, Guildmaster. Perfect. Excellent. That's all in here. Like a little bathing, bathing area. Okay, Guildmaster. What's going on, my friend? Uh, Alright, what's the tannery? 304 isn't bad for the setup price. That's a bad profit on the iron works. Weaver is going to be 120. Don't even have enough for that. Not worth it. Yeah, don't have enough for that either. Let's just check even though I don't have enough for the die works. Yeah, that would be 540. So that's not that great either. Uh, it's a wine press at. Okay, so I think our best bet is going to get the cheap one here. We're going to do that again. And get the tannery. So, yeah, here's money for the land. Another 300 a week. It'll help. And very good. So, we did get another productive enterprise set up. We got a little bit more money stored away. Some backup swords. All that good stuff. And can I get another nice little horse? No? 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 Okay. Uh, I want to find one of those traveling merchants, and uh, that would be really great. Let's get a new helmet. Our helmet kind of sucks, doesn't it? All our gear kind of sucks. I really need to... Uh, I'm just hoping, like, I don't want to spend that much money on gear. I'm hoping I get a good, like, item drop soon, but just really not been there. What's our looting at? Maybe that's... I'm not getting good stuff because of looting skills. Now our looting's a two. It's not awful. I guess I could put another point in that eventually. Ah. But okay, that was actually... Compared to... Especially to last episode, that was pretty productive. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to save it there. I might off-camera just run up here, get a little bit of salt real quick, and then run it back down to High Garden. Maybe set up another productive enterprise. Maybe down at Old Town. Something like that. Um, I'm not sure yet, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, uh, punch that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't already, uh, share the video around if you would, and I'll catch you guys back here next time for Game of Thrones Mountain Blade Warband Mod, A World of Ice and Fire. Have a good day out there, and peace out.